Well, less than two weeks after police busted a human trafficking ring, the community is raising more awareness. More than 100 people attended a panel about trafficking. It was held this afternoon. New at 5, Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Bailey Bischoff was there and joins us now with the details. Bailey? The panel contained advocates from several organizations fighting trafficking, but their messages were all the same. That trafficking does happen in Lincoln, but you can make a difference. Sex trafficking is real in our city. Uh, we don't like to think that, but it's real. One Lincoln resident knows that all too well. I was vulnerable. I was uh, young. I had a child. I didn't know how I was going to pay my rent. I was, I was down and out. I didn't. I didn't have anybody. My friend uh, saw how broken I was and thought that she would help me out. Megan was introduced to an escort service where she was trafficked for eight years. She shared her story at a panel about human trafficking at SEC Thursday. The goal of the panel to raise awareness and inspire action. A group of Native women are leading by example and taking action in a big way. They've helped propose a bill to fight trafficking of Native women who make up 40% of all trafficking victims. This is a bill for an act relating to the Nebraska State Patrol to require a report on missing Native American women in Nebraska. It means a lot to Renee because of her own experiences as a child. Being solicited just by walking to school, for example, uh, being stopped and uh, by men and asking them to if, if I needed a ride. And now as a mother. Don't go around alone. Uh, pay attention to your surroundings. Awareness is the first step. That's why dozens of students and community members filed into the panel. I'm passionate about the subject. I like being aware of the subject. Um, and it was really amazing to be able to hear Megan talk about her past experiences. And it's perhaps the most important step you can take. We can make a difference. We can make our city slave free. We can make our state slave free. But we have to come together and understand it and then take action to fight it. They also talked about some warning signs. So if you think someone is being trafficked, you have resources for what to do. They say if it's an emergency situation to call 911. If you are wanting to connect someone with resources to get a hold of a local organization like I Have a Name. And I'm about to put a list of some of those warning signs on our website, klkntv.com. We knew this was a serious mm -hmm. problem, but I think it really helps when we hear somebody's personal experiences. Absolutely. Yeah, Bailey, thank you.